Hey everybody, so I am heading out to the store because there is some meat on sale that I want to get. Um, I'm going to be pressure canning some chicken thighs and some chicken drumsticks. We have a sale going on for I think $1.29 a pound, but uh, I haven't really been seeing much, so I want to grab some and pressure can them. So I'm heading out to do that. I'm also going to go down and get some more of that New York sirloin steak. Today's the last day of the sale. And because um, that's what I make his jerky with. So I'm going to go get a few more packages of that. Um, I have it in the dehydrator right now. Oh my God, it smells heavenly in my house. <laughs> So that's what I'm, and there's another sale at another store. Uh, my daughter loves mangoes, so they're 17 cents each right now, and there's pasta for 37 cents, and Classico for a dollar right now, just for the store members, you know, those things they do. And so there's a limit of like two and on the Classico and, and four on the mangoes, but I'm gonna get them. Uh, and then my other store has, the one I'm going to now, has the Classico for two for four. Um, that seems to be the lowest we have around here. Once in a blue moon, they'll go two for three, but two for four is the norm. So I stock up on, I get a couple jars each time. I have quite a collection of Classico, so I'm not worried about it. Um, I just get a couple now, uh, but I'm, you know, I'm watching the prices. I'm a big price watcher, so, um, and I have plenty of space on those shelves to fill, so that's what I'm doing. And I'm going to actually be taking some of the older stuff in my freezer, and I'm going to can that up, like the thighs and stuff that I have that are older from last year, and I'm going to can that up first. Um, but I opened a couple jars today and it was so good. So I'm going to pressure can it. And, uh, I did them a year ago. I did them in April and I just opened them. So um, I'm doing a video on opening them and I'm actually going to make a chicken soup with a few of the... the uh, I broke apart a thigh and I broke apart a drumstick. And I tasted it right there on my video and oh my God, so good. So I'm going to make a chicken soup with the broth that was in the jar and then the chicken that was in the jar so that'll be coming but I want to do a pressure canning video of, of actually pressure canning the chicken so that's my next thing probably later this week I'll get it done I also took up a few jars of things like a bacon um, a beef stew and a pepper soup that I pressure can and I'm gonna do an opening and tasting those as well um, I'm gonna do videos on those so that people can actually see when we pressure can we can see what the outcome is when we're opening them these were all done about a year ago so I'll show you all that as well so I'm getting to the store so I'm gonna let you all go um, I got several projects going right now so I hope to see you all later. Hey everybody, so I just came back from my shopping haul. This was about $300 worth of stuff because um, I used my coupons. I went out to get this. These are drumsticks. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's eight of them at $1.29 a pound. So this package was $3.73. And the thighs, one, two, three, four, five, there's five to six of these in each package, and these were $1.29 a pound. And I got four packages of each. I'm going to pressure can them. I found some canning jars. So I got uh, three cases of those. Uh, I bought some more seeds, tons more seeds, because they're like 40% off right now. I got some bacon that was on sale for $4.99. I had a coupon for the King Arthur flour. The pasta was $0.37 cents a piece, limit of four, so I got my four. 
The mangoes were 17 cents a piece with a limit of five. The Roma tomatoes were 97 cents. And then I also went out, oh, I gotta, okay, I also went out to get some more of this uh, New York sirloin steak that was on sale for $4.49 a pound. I got four packages, and this one I just poked with my finger, so now I gotta hurry up and package it. I bought two more 20 pound bags of rice that are gonna go in the freezer. I got some lunch meat. I got some onulate, uh, granulated onion because I used up a bottle the other day. I saw that for three dollars with an expiration date of 2025. I had a free coupon for that. Um, these were a dollar, so I got a couple of those. These butters were two fifty, so I got a couple to add. And I'm almost out of my Worcestershire sauce in the bottle upstairs, so I wanted a bottle to replace it. I had a free coupon for that. These were, let me see, let me put it back. These extra virgin olive oils, uh, 33.8 ounces, had a tag on the shelf for $7.99. When I went to go cash out, they rang up at $12.99. So she went and checked and it was an old tag for an old sale. So they gave me one, they gave me $10 off one and $5 off the other. So that wasn't bad. I'm like, okay. I got some more Goya beans and um, tomato sauce because those were 39 cents a can. Got some more tomato paste. These Classicos were two for four still, so I got a couple of those. Scott's 12 pack, I had a coupon for $5 off. Four dollars off the puffs, so I ended up paying maybe 49 cents. I like chicken and a biscuit, so I bought those. No coupon, but no coupon for the monster case, but Chris likes that. I had a coupon for the Coca-Cola products. I did not have coupons for the VH Splash, but my kids like it. I got some bulky rolls to go with the lunch meat. No coupon for this, but I wanted to try it. No coupon for these, but these were a dollar, so I wanted to get a few more. This family size Welch's, which is 96 ounces, three quarts, was a free coupon. The two boxes of Glad was a free coupon. The Magic Erasers was a free coupon. And the Mangoes, they didn't have them the last time, but my, my daughter wanted them, so I got those. And this pizza, I just wanted to try it. So my plan is to vacuum seal up this meat, throw it in the freezer. I'm going to pressure can this meat, so I'm going to put that in my outside refrigerator till tomorrow when I can pressure can it or whenever I get to it. And I'm going to, like I said, put that in there. Oh, I also got these colliders. I had a coupon. Never tried it. It's like a yogurt or a dessert. And then... I had a coupon for these to try, so I'm going to try those. My, my son likes this kind of stuff. So that's going to go back in. The, and those two more bags are going to go in the freezer. So yeah, this was almost $300 for everything. Almost. Um, now I just got to mark the stuff with the dates on this stuff and put them in bags to bring downstairs. And Jack's over there cleaning himself. And I just got home. It's 1.15. I had, I have, I just ex rotated all the trays for the jerky. So that'll be done in a few hours. And the kids are still doing their schoolwork. So I just wanted to show y'all. I was chomping at the bit to get out there and do some more shopping. So, yep. My daughter loves her mangoes. And I got a whole bunch of different seeds. I found the bush sugar babies. Because I didn't have any more. And uh, I got some other ones. Got some basil. I still I do have some basil, but I think these are the ones I had last year. I'm not sure. That just took over my whole area. So yep, that's everything guys. We'll see you later.
All right, so I am back sealing the steaks I bought. Each one, this one was about 560. This one was about five something. This thick cut one, it's pretty thick. I'll, I'll vacuum seal it and then let you see it. Was about eleven dollars. I'm gonna make jerky out of that. Stop that because the bag is folded over. All right. I'll let it rest for a minute. Just put everything in the fridge outside. I still got to put the rice out there in the freezer and the right uh, flour in the freezer. But it's raining, so I wish we had a opening that went straight into the garage from this porch, but we don't. So I'm going to back seal these, get them in the freezer downstairs. This one's pretty thick. And I put all the chicken in the freezer so that I can uh, pressure can it tomorrow. So when I go down there to put these in the freezer, I'm going to bring up my canner. Um, I might do both canners at the same time so that I can get it all done. Uh, I was going to do one with thighs and one canner with the drumsticks. I wasn't going to mix and match them this time in the jars. Um, I think I'm going to try them in quart jars too, so maybe I can get more in them and make it a meal in a jar. Uh, I'm not sure, but I'll be bringing you along for that. <laughs> 